Magic maths, a really fun way for getting your child to practice mathematics and to really work on those mental and written math strategies. This strategy or this formula really focuses on the idea of division. So if you'd like your child to be practicing their written division, this is a great way. So basically the idea of magic maths is that your child is given a formula, they then go and they use this formula on unsuspecting victims and they always get the same answer and they are able to predict the person's answer before they even reach it. So they should also be calculating with the person so that they can actually make sure that that person is actually calculating correctly. And if they don't get to the answer 37, then the person who is completing the challenge has made an error somewhere in their calculations. And I'm sure your child will delight in telling them that and helping them fix it. Okay, so choose a three digit number with all the digits the same. So for example, 222 or 555. I'm going to choose 222 just because it's on the board. So 222. You add the three digits. So you're finding the sum of the three digits. So two plus two plus two, which is of course six. Then you're going to divide the original number that you started off with by the sum of the digits. So you're 222 divided by your six. And this is a great opportunity for some written division to be taking place. So 222 divided by six. And we're hoping that the answer is going to be 37. So six, two divided by six, of course, we cannot do. So we carry it over. Six goes into 22 three times, I had to really think there, and you've got 42 left over, and of course six goes into 42 seven times. Hey presto, your answer is 37. Think about how many people will be amazed when your child goes around with this challenge and always is able to predict the answer. So let's try another one, just so that you can have another little practice. And this is a great video to actually show your children because they can actually use the formula and use this video to then go around practicing on other people and always getting to that magical 37. So let's choose, for example, this time 777. Okay. Adding the three digits, so seven plus seven plus seven, which is of course 21. Divide the original, 777, by this total sum of the digits, which is 21. And this will be a little bit more difficult because this is going to take into account the idea of long multiplication. Your child may also be using the chunky method at this point, and that is equally fine. So now we want to divide our starting number by our sum of our three digits. So we're going to do some long division, and this is a really good opportunity for practicing those division skills. So we're going to use long division because we're dividing a three digit number by a two digit number. So lay it out. So you've got your 777 divided by 21. So of course we start looking at the seven. Of course, 21 cannot go into seven, so that's a zero. And then we look at 77. 77, um, the closest um, number is 63, 21 times three. So we put our three up there and we subtract this. So seven take away three is four. Seven take away six is one. Of course, 21 can't go into 14. So we bring down our units, 147. And if we calculate, say 20 times seven is 140 and one times seven is 147. So we know that the answer is again, 37. Your child will be so impressed. The adults that they test at all will be so impressed and it'll be a really enjoyable, fun experience for everyone.